So what is the JPEG format? JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group. When you take a JPEG image, the camera compresses the actual image into a smaller file size while retaining as much quality as possible. Cameras that use the JPEG format commonly are standard point-and-shoot cameras, smartphones, and in certain situations a DSLR. The pros of the JPEG format are the file size as well as the fact that it is universal and essentially the internet standard. This makes JPEG a great option for all online photos such as Facebook, social media, or just in general sharing your images across the internet. The cons are obviously that the quality is reduced and that there is some pixelation with heavy compression. I'm going to give you some examples of converting the JPEG format so you can see what I'm talking about with the pros and cons. Right here you can see I have a raw image and if we look at the file size, the file size on this image is 19 megabytes. This is very large for one image. Now I'm going to show you how to convert it to the JPEG format. So I'm going to open up Contenta Converter Premium and drag and drop it onto the area to import it into my scene. Once it's imported, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Uncheck Extract Preview and leave the quality at 90%. Now, if I use the quality preview button we'll be able to see the differences between the raw format which is 19 megabytes and the JPEG format which is estimated to be 1.4 megabytes. This is a very big difference in size and now we can compare the quality. As you can see the colors of the image have been affected this could be changed at a later time with some color correction techniques. We're not going to be getting in that today. But overall we can see that there is not much quality loss in the actual image. The trick to using the JPEG format is to not overdo the compression. While you want to get the smallest file size as possible for internet usage, if we set the quality to something very low, such as 10%, we can see on the quality preview what that would look like. As you can see, it's very distorted and you can see some of the pixelation as I was talking about earlier. This looks very bad and would not be acceptable. So make sure you balance between low quality and file size. Once I have the quality set to what I want, all I have to do is click Start and Contenta Converter Premium will convert my image from the RAW format to the JPEG for me. If you would like to use Contenta Converter Premium to convert your files, visit the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.